Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today is episode two of the vlog. Uh, so as you guys remember, I just said I was gonna start doing a vlog, so I'm just gonna get into the stuff that I do for this business. Um, this this will progress as it goes, but for now, this is what I'm gonna start with and see where it goes. Uh, I, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, so as you guys remember, I was last with you guys on uh, for one of these episodes on Saturday. Um, and I just talked to you guys a little bit about what I was going to be doing and, you know, what, what, what this whole thing was going to be about. If you're interested, go ahead and check that video out before you get into this one. Um, outside of that, let's get right into it. So Sunday, what I did on that day was I started the day by uh, creating a um, smoke session playlist. So, and this is something that I'm going to be doing from now on every single Sunday. Um, I'm going to create a playlist with 10 different... Um, songs uh, all under the same genre though to kind of make it to where they like blend together uh this week's was hip-hop you guys are more than welcome to check that out it's labeled uh smoke sesh sunday so um yeah if you guys are interested in that at all that's what i did next after i was done with that i talked to one of the guys over at washington living um which is another youtube channel uh they're gonna be or one of the guys is gonna be helping me. Uh, he's gonna go record the event that I'm having on 420 over at the Pin in Spokane. Um, so he's gonna be there running around, kind of taking video of the, the stage and the show, um, the people in the crowd, and then we're gonna kind of put together a little after video uh, for you guys to enjoy and get to see kind of like what I'm up to and what we do um, and, and get a peek into the events basically. Um, I'm not sure what all is going to be included in that video, but we're going to have some fun with it. The other thing we also discussed is they have skits. If you guys go on their page, and I'll link to their page at the bottom of this in the description, um, they have these dope skits. And as goofy and as funny as they are, like I want to start doing that. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And so it kind of worked out that like one of my other friends who introduced me to these guys, um, like he i told him that i want to do skits he talked about them you know helped me link up with them and now they're cool with totally doing some skits so you guys are definitely gonna have some more like funny like you know um just jokes and like meme videos and stuff like that coming from me uh as this thing progresses with them and then i also found out <laughs> i was gonna go uh you guys don't know this but occasionally you'll see me wear a necklace and it's always like a really cool little orgone piece um i've learned to make these well my girlfriend and i learned to make these um and i have literally like just bah, piles of them <laughs> so what i was gonna do was uh throw them up on etsy and see how they did just for you know just to see how they go uh, I'm still going to do that, but I logged on to the Etsy account and boom, I saw that like our uh, <laughs> our store was shut down and instantly like I just got, oh, got super negative. I was like, man, this sucks. The Etsy shut down. I can't even do anything. I was having a bad day anyway, just mentally. Um, and so because we'd stayed up and I, I don't do very well with little sleep. So <laughs> it was just a whole mess of things. Um, come to find out or, or actually, you know what? Then after that, uh, we made some tamales because uh, we were going to have her coworkers come over for a smoke sesh. I may include a little video of that, just a small little like, so you guys can see what a group of just a bunch of stoners in a room looks like. <laughs> um, I didn't take much video because I, I didn't ask them if I could post it or anything. So um, it'll be just a quick like five second clip if I do. Uh, but we had them over. Um, they, you know, had some food, kept, hung out, and, uh, stayed up till 11, which I don't know if you guys know, but for those of you who don't, uh, I normally go to bed like 8, 30, 9 o'clock and I wake up 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> so that threw my whole routine off. I'm actually struggling right now. I'm tired as, you know, as all hell. Um, and then... Uh, so that was the end of Sunday. Uh, Monday came around, or today, I guess. Um, after my girlfriend went to work, the first thing I hopped, or I did was I hopped on the computer um, because I have, so I have a little bit of a headache that I'm dealing with, with uh, getting a city license. I have, um, for this business that I have the events, I, I got the LLC under the Recreational 420 name. Um, and so I had an attorney do that. And when they did, they applied for 
a business license in the city where my mailbox in is in um and that's a really conservative town so my guess is like they saw the name recreational 420 and immediately thought i was a you know somebody trying to be a retailer a grower just an i-502 company in general um i got a phone call from <laughs> that city's fire department last friday or thursday i can't remember specifically what day um telling me hey uh we're just curious this location you know the, your address is a little wonky um and we're just curious we're gonna have the fire department come do a tour and as you guys can imagine the like i was almost shaking i was like why 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 does anybody need to come do anything like well no one told me that i would have to need that i would need any sort of inspection for this like in my head i was like i'm not selling weed i'm not running i'm not doing retail out of that town i wasn't doing i wasn't even going to do shows in that town i was just going to have my address there um because where i live there isn't a uh, mailbox service for those uh kind of like ups what they do is if you're going to start a business you can get a mailbox um, at the UPS store uh, where I live that's not an option so <laughs> I did it where my brother is because he's there and he can go check it you know once or twice a week let me know if anything's happening and it was just the easiest way to get there but that town saw a recreational 420 and they were not about to have that happen <laughs> so um, yeah I, I had to deal with that uh, turns out um, since I'm gonna be doing all of my shows in Spokane and most of my events in Spokane I need a I already have a Washington State business license. Um, what I need is called a city endorsement. Now, a big majority of uh, counties and state, or not state, cities in Washington uh, require that you have a city endorsement just because they take a little bit of tax off of uh, your revenue, which of course, if you're in their city doing business, it makes perfect sense. It, it's, you know, and so, uh, yeah, I was gonna go and try to, you know, apply for that, do all that, um, I got on the phone with DOR, which is Department of Revenue. Um, they walked me through um, applying for the Spokane license. I almost went back and had like the attorney go and like do all of this for me. It's a five minute process. It's just click, 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 and you're good to go. <laughs> you pay your fee and you wait for your answer. Um, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna have to run to the bank now, go put money in the bank. <sighs> and then go through and do all that. I still have to open a bank account for the business. Um, that requires that my brother, which is my business partner, is in a different town, signs a document that says I'm the managing, uh, I'm the managing agent, and I'm allowed to open bank accounts and you know write accounts and write checks and do all that on behalf of the business. Um, that's just a piece of paper that the bank needs from me in order to give me you know a bank account. Um, then so i talked to etsy and they told me uh also <laughs> after i was done with this I, I then got on the phone with etsy uh they let me know that the reason my account was frozen uh was simply because i owe them a dollar <laughs> so once that's taken care of here in a couple hours um, i'm gonna start putting all of these like dope ass oregon pieces um up for sale and then uh, I'm gonna put up a couple of her paintings. So these things will be on Etsy as well as like a couple others that aren't around here and you guys probably haven't seen. Um, basically, I'm just trying to hustle as many different ways as I can and just see what brings in money. Uh, do I think this is gonna make me a millionaire? Not by any means, but if it can give me an extra 200 bucks, guess what? That's my cell phone. Or if it can give me an extra like 150 bucks, that's my you know cable that's my phone or not my phone but like my electricity that's gas for two weeks that's my weed for you know <laughs> a month almost like it, it's just a matter of um just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't uh making those things work and just seeing what happens so that's where I'm at. Um, this is just going to continue to kind of expand and grow as it does. Uh, I'll be back with you guys on um oh actually one more thing so i do have i'm waiting on a glass shop from spokane to let me know if they're interested in sponsoring the event and what that means for you guys is uh for those of you that live in spokane or over the age of 18 and would like to come to that event uh, if you do purchase a ticket then you're going to be uh entered into if this guy if this happens then you would be entered into a drawing for uh, some sort of glass piece that he's gonna you know we'll, we'll work that out but that's what I'm working on I'm trying to give you guys as much like as many benefits as I can 
Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I guess those are my two days. Um, I'll be back with you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday, I may switch that Wednesday show to Thursday just because Wednesday I'm going to be back over in the, um, the, the city where my mailbox is. Uh, getting that sheet signed by my brother um, and then coming back and I'll open the bank account that day and do all that stuff and I think for now that's it um, <laughs> yeah so that's my you know the last 48 hours for me um, I still have more things to do I got a bunch of like like I said once I put the uh, money on the on the Etsy and pay that dollar that I owe I can start doing these this is gonna take me a good four five hours to put these all up um, I, I have about 50 of them um, but that's the hustle it's not always fun it's not always glamorous it's not always like exciting um, a lot of it is really boring <laughs> a lot of it is really lonely um, and yeah like but but i love it and i wouldn't change it for anything else so uh yeah this was episode two i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll definitely be back again with you guys here in the next couple days um yeah <laughs> see you guys soon <laughs>